Today we're going to look at the new features added to FL Studio 9.1. Let's count down the Guru's top 10. Notice the PDC panel changes. Nothing set here. There's a new menu item, PDC for all tracks, that automatically sets PDC. This is in testing for FL Studio 9.1 and we're interested in your feedback to how well it works for you. Armless is now a demo plugin in the installer. If you didn't grab a copy during the sale, now's a good time to check it out. You can now open plugins and their channel properties by right-clicking the channel selector. Useful. You can now send presets, samples or whatever to plugins by pressing the F5 and F6 keys. The target will be the last touched plugin. Edison now has a handy button that will send the sample or selection to the playlist. We got feedback that people were having some trouble with the drag and drop feature. The drag and drop button is still there, so please, no need to start riots and loop talk. The playlist tempo fitting features have had an overhaul. Among other things, there's now a useful Tempo button that locks the audio clip to the project tempo. Edison now saves to MP3 format. Use it wisely now. The typing piano to keyboard now has key maps. These maps will only allow you to play notes in a given key. Or even one finger chords. FL Studio's got talent. Drumpad is free for all FL Studio users. Drumpad is the modelling engine from Drummax. It can be loaded into individual sampler channels. Cool. Fruity Convolver is a real-time convolution or reverb plugin, allowing you to use impulses from real spaces or expensive hardware. Or indeed anything. The cool thing is, the impulses can be edited with all the tools that you usually find in Edison, and several functions like stretching are added as direct controls. This button will open impulse responses in the browser. Use the F5, F6 keyboard shortcuts to browse.
The manual also has a great section on making your own impulses, so check it out. Well that's my top 10 picks for the FL Studio 9.1 update. As usual there are plenty of things I haven't covered, so I'll put a link in the information to the What's New document and you can download it and check it out. Until next time, enjoy your FL Studio 9.1 update.